Hello everybody, my name is Annie. I'm a physiotherapist. I'm working from Natural Elements Physiotherapy Clinic here in Leicester and I do hope this video finds you well um, in this strange and surreal kind of world that we're living in at the moment. It's all very odd. Uh, we've done just about two weeks of isolation now so I think it's beginning to bite a little bit. The novelty is definitely worn off and people are beginning to feel that a little bit cooped up and a little bit frustrated with it all, certainly from my point of view. Um, the lovely Hannah has tasked me with the possibility of talking about exercise whilst we are all stuck at home and in self-isolation or unfortunately for those of you in quarantine. Now exercise is incredibly important, it's one of the few reasons that the government is allowing us to leave the house, it's ranked as that important. Um, so it is vital that we're managing to get back out there, we know it's brilliant for our heart, our lungs, our skeleton, our muscles, we know it's also great in terms of our immune system as well, which is going to be really, really important for everybody within the next few months. So it's vital that we all take those opportunities to get outside as much as possible and do some little bits of exercise, whatever we can. So it's really a case of what exercise, really a case of what's ever up to you. Um, if you don't like running, I'm not going to tell you to go out and take a start a couch to 5k. If you really, really hate the idea of somebody shouting at you from a TV screen to do your exercises, then don't do it. Choose something that you enjoy, you're not going to do it otherwise, but choose something that you can start at slowly and then gradually build back up again. A lot of the problems that we see in physio clinics are when people tend to start and do too much too soon. So in terms of what you want to do, I think at least once a day, everybody you should be getting out of the house. We'll have one opportunity. The weather this weekend and the next of the week is going to be beautiful. The kids' holidays will have started officially, so there won't be any of that schoolwork being emailed through take the opportunity to get out. It could be going down to the local park if it's still open. Um, it could just be going out to a local country park, maybe if you've got one, anywhere where you can stay a long way from somebody, or it could be just going out into the garden. But that change of scenery and that fresh air is really, really important. So in the garden, it could be something simple. It could be something like skipping. If you've got a skipping rope, it could be something like doing little circuits. If you've got the kids and their little is, maybe you could set up a little treasure hunt or maybe you could do some silly it's a knockout kind of style games in the garden whereby you're throwing bits around and you're transferring water from buckets to buckets. Kids always love it when their mum and dad get soaking wet, so it's a really good one to do. But juggling, keep your uppies with a football, keep your uppies with a tennis bat, anything at all to keep your mind occupied and keep your brain that little bit focused and also to get those heart and lungs up. If you're managing to get out out of the house, then the simplest things really at the moment are going to be either going for a walk. If you've got a dog, this is a really, really good time to have a dog. You have the perfect legitimate excuse to get out of the dog, to get out of the house. Um, going for a run. Maybe it's a good time to start a couch to 5K. I've started a couch to 5K and I am no runner by any means, but I have had to go. Or maybe cycling, again, skipping, that kind of a thing. Have a go at doing those kinds of things. We're a little bit restricted and we can't do our usual sort of swimming and those kinds of act activities as well. At home and actually in the house, you can be doing things such as yoga. I'm a great fan of Pilates. We do Pilates classes down at Natural Elements, which we tend to run. We're also gonna be running those on Zoom as well. So you can have a little bit of a go at those at home. You don't need a lot of space. It's not a bouncing up and down exercise that you're gonna get out of breath with. So it's perfect for that. But you could be doing things like running up and down the stairs. Um, you could be doing things like weights, etc. that kind of thing. Dancing, put some music on, just do some boogie kitchen disco perfect way to do it and you can also get the kids involved as well if they like your taste in music. So whatever you choose, the top tips are whatever you choose, choose it to be something that you enjoy, something that you're willing to repeat and ideally something that involves the rest of the family as well. Exercise is as much a social being and at the moment we're not getting that kind of social activity so go for it and try and do as best as you can that little bit every day. Take care, see you on the other side, bye bye. That's from Annie from Natural Elements.